Hello and welcome to Mark in the Park, the program from Urbana Park District where we let you know what's going on in your parks and in the community. Remember, at Urbana Park District, you belong here. I'm Mark Schultz and we are joined by Nikki Hosman, Community Programs Coordinator Hi. today. Hello, Nikki. How's it going? <laughs> I'm doing great. Good. And I'm doing even better because I like food. Yes. <laughs> and I like to prepare food. Yes. And the Park District now has a way that people can Food. We do. Tell yes. us about the James Room Kitchen yeah. at Phillips Recreation We're Center. We're so excited. It's going to open pretty soon. Um, we've had a lot of input from the community. People just really want this learning kitchen. Um, it's very popular now. Um, kitchen classes, cooking classes. Um, so yeah, we're really excited. We're gonna, it's gonna be able to seat about 12 people. Mm -hmm. um, we have a huge island. Um, we'll have a, a pretty big screen um, with a camera that faces down. So when you're sitting in the far back of the room, it feels like you're in the front of the room. It's gonna be a, a really nice setup. We're so this so is like a food channel yes. kitchen set. <laughs> it's pretty, it's, it's legit, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And it's at Phillips Recreation mm -hmm. Center in the James Room. Yes. And now you have, um, you said that you got this from community feedback. People yeah. want this. Yes, it's definitely something that's kind of on the rise. A lot of different um, organizations are taking advantage of, of um, people wanting kitchen classes and especially nutrition classes. That's something that's um, really become more popular. A lot of people are becoming foodies yes. and they like that. <laughs> but also too, people want, there's a lot more awareness of mm -hmm. nutrition uh, and, and healthy eating. For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And um, the demonstration kitchen is being built um, and we talked about it a little bit, but what do you hope this kitchen accomplishes? I hope it accomplishes a lot. I really hope that it brings people not only to our building, um, but to just kind of showcase the park district and what we have to offer. Um, I really hope that people can learn a lot of life skills and a lot of um, just important things from this kitchen. I, I do kids programs um, specifically, and I'm I'm super excited about getting uh, kids in there and teaching them about cooking, kitchen safety, all different things like that. So we're in, we're stressing that this is for mm -hmm. everybody of exactly. all ages and abilities. Yes, of course, yeah. And um, have, I'm interested in what <laughs> one of the uh, the kids classes. Yes, is gonna be. yeah. A, are they going to bake cookies? And B, can I have some? Absolutely, <laughs> yes to both. <laughs> we have a lot of fun um, kids uh, classes coming up. One that I'm super excited about in May. Um, we're gonna have the kids for about four hours. They're gonna cook with us, and then they're gonna invite their family to come in and eat what they had just prepared. Oh, fun. so it's gonna be a really cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I I'm remember eating. as a kid, I was preparing a dish, mm -hmm. or preparing something, and mm -hmm. I always enjoyed when my family made over right, it. Right, right. That's yes. awesome. Yeah, I'm That's excited. That's awesome. And then uh, for people a little bit uh, our age, yeah, maybe a little bit yeah. older, there's other things too. Yeah, absolutely. On. So we have a competition cook-off coming up in a couple weeks, so people can make their best version of macaroni and cheese, and they'll be able mm -hmm. to share it um, with the community, so it's free to come in and taste test macaroni and cheese. I'll be there. All right, um, <laughs> all right. But yeah, and, and um, the best macaroni and cheese will have a prize for them. We also have um, an international foods fair later in April, so um, people from all different cultures can bring in a dish from um, their culture and share it with their friends and their community. We want to stress that this is just beginning at the time yes. of this recording. The kitchen is just beginning, so mm -hmm. you're kind of feeling your way along for, for what sure. you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've got um, a lot of other things, not um, just events. We have um, specific uh, cooking classes with Adam from Breakfast, Life, and Dinner. He's a professional chef. Um, he'll come in and do, I think, three or four classes with us between May and August. Um, I'm really excited about those, too. <laughs> That's great. And um, so all these things, you can sign up, and you go on urbanaparks.org to sign up for mm -hmm. any of these cooking and nutrition classes. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, Nikki Hosman, Community Programs Coordinator, is our guest today. Now, do people need to know how to cook before they before they <laughs> take this class. Absolutely not. No, we'll have some right. uh, kitchen basics classes. Um, I think we're even thinking of like a knife skills class, you know, just a lot of different <laughs> things um, that are important to, to know and to um, have those basics um, when you're teaching. Fortunately, I have all my digits, and I haven't <laughs> yes. had to have any. Uh, I haven't had any uh, stitches uh, yeah. from, from cooking in kitchen mishaps, but that is Good. an important it's thing. It's important. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's something that's often overlooked, but yeah, we, we're planning to do a lot of different um, kitchen basics classes. And stove too. safety too. Yes, absolutely. I yeah, did burn my. Important. I did burn my arm one time oh, on no. a hot pan. So yes, <laughs> stove yeah, safety. So, sure. um, so. This is a very, again, a very exciting thing mm -hmm. to start with. Now you're having some.
program starting and people can mm -hmm. look on Urbana Park Stop or to find yeah, out. Yeah. But if people are interested in uh, something else or they mm -hmm. have an idea what mm -hmm. might be a good cooking class, yeah. how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, definitely reach out to me. Um, all my information is on the urbanaparks.org um, and I would love to um, take the public's input and see what people are most interested in not only teaching but learning and I would I would love to showcase people's abilities in that way. And you can call Phillips Recreation Center at 217-367-1544. Mm -hmm. And um, Again, the uh, people can look up in our program guide yep. and they can look online to find out all the different things happening mm -hmm. in our brand new yes, kitchen. Yes, we're so excited. And you are, it's something that <laughs> yes. I've seen it. It's We've been really waiting neat. for a while, yeah, yeah. Very neat. Nikki, thank you for yeah, your time thanks. today. Nikki Hoseman is our guest today talking about the James Room Kitchen, a place where you can have fun, learn some cooking, and uh, learn some nutrition too. Go on urbanaparks.org or call Phillips Recreation Center for more information about classes or if you have a suggestion for uh, something you would like to learn. Thanks for joining us today on Mark in the Park. Have a good day.